In 2025, deep inside the Great Pyramid, scientists made a discovery no one expected. Hidden chambers, sealed for more than 4,000 years, appeared on the scanners, perfectly aligned with ancient quarry ramps and a newly mapped branch of the Nile. For the first time, these clues connect into a single story, a story that may finally explain how the pyramids were really built. For centuries, the question has never gone away. How did a civilization with no modern machines move millions of massive stones and set them with mathematical precision? Each block weighs as much as two cars, yet together they form one of the most exact structures on Earth. The scale defies imagination, and for generations, every answer has fallen short. But now, the new data from the Scan Pyramids project may hold the key. Inside the Great Pyramid, those hidden corridors seem to line up with the same systems found in the Hatnub quarries, and even with that long-buried Nile channel that once cut across the desert. Archaeologists, engineers, and physicists are racing to decode the evidence. Their findings point not to lost technology or alien help, but to something far more human, and far more ingenious. The real secret, it seems, was never buried in myth, but hidden within the stones themselves. To understand how they built them, we must also understand who built them. A civilization that organized, fed, and inspired tens of thousands to create monuments meant to last forever. Modern science is now revisiting that ancient puzzle with instruments capable of seeing beneath the stone itself, turning speculation into measurable data. And the first clues lie in how earlier generations got it wrong. The first great misunderstanding began over 2,000 years ago. Greek historian Herodotus wrote that slaves built the pyramids under the lash of their rulers a story that fit neatly into foreign ideas of power and cruelty. It endured for centuries, shaping how the world saw Egypt, brilliant monuments built on misery. But the evidence now tells a different story. Excavations near Giza have revealed workers' villages, bakeries, breweries, and tombs, proof of skilled laborers, not slaves. These were well-fed craftsmen and engineers who worked in shifts, paid in food and honor. The myth of slavery wasn't just a historical mistake. It erased a culture's ingenuity and replaced pride with pity. For decades, this image blinded us to the truth. The pyramids were built by free people, united by purpose. Yet even modern science would later fall into its own misconceptions. To understand the problem, we must return to Egypt's old kingdom around 2500 BCE. The Nile's yearly floods shaped the rhythm of life. When the waters receded, thousands of farmers became builders, lending their labor to the pharaoh's vision of eternity. At Giza, the landscape rang with copper tools striking limestone. Temporary ramps of mud brick and rubble wound upward along the growing pyramid, while foremen tracked progress with remarkable precision. Nearby, entire worker villages were carefully planned and with bakeries, dormitories, and medical quarters, a sign of organization on an industrial scale. Each block was carved, hauled, and placed with a tolerance finer than most modern construction. Every miscalculation meant weeks of lost effort. Yet somehow, they achieved near-perfect alignment with the stars. It was a system built on discipline and design, until new discoveries began to challenge what those ramps really meant. In 2018, archaeologists from the French Institute for Oriental Archaeology uncovered a striking clue deep in the ancient Hatnab quarries east of Giza. Cut directly into the limestone was a massive ramp, flanked by staircases and holes where wooden posts once stood. Its date matched the era of the Great Pyramid itself. By studying tool marks and erosion, the team concluded that workers used sledges tied with ropes, pulling stone blocks up the slope while wooden posts acted as anchors for leverage. The ramp's steep angle far greater than previously thought possible, hinted at a refined mechanical understanding. Researchers from the University of Liverpool later confirmed the ramp's age and function through sediment analysis, published in the Journal of Archaeological Science, 2019. Could this ancient ramp reveal the true lifting method? Or was it only one part of a much larger engineering puzzle? By the late 20th century, most Egyptologists believed they had solved the puzzle. The dominant theory claimed that huge straight ramps of mud brick were built in front of each pyramid, massive structures stretching for kilometers. It sounded practical, but the physics told another story. 
the volume of material required for such ramps would have exceeded the pyramids themselves, demanding construction on an impossible scale. No trace of those colossal earthworks has ever been found. Yet for decades, the idea persisted, repeated in classrooms, textbooks, and documentaries, because it fit what people expected ancient engineering to look like, simple, brute force. This model began to collapse only when technology advanced enough to challenge it. New imaging tools could now look through solid rock and map what lay beneath the desert floor, revealing clues that no shovel had ever reached. And those scans would soon expose something extraordinary. In the last decade, scientists from Cairo University and the International Scan Pyramids Project have used advanced, non-invasive technologies to see inside the Great Pyramid without removing a single stone. They combined muon tomography, which tracks cosmic particles passing through solid matter, with infrared thermography and 3D laser scanning to map its hidden architecture in unprecedented detail. Researchers from Nagoya University applied the same approach to nearby quarries and causeways, detecting buried voids and ancient channels beneath the sand. Their results, published in Nature Communications, 2023, suggested that water-fed transport routes once linked quarry sites to the Pyramid Plateau, a logistical system far more sophisticated than previously imagined. For the first time, hard data replaced centuries of speculation, turning myth into measurable geometry. If you're fascinated by how modern science keeps rewriting ancient history, consider subscribing for more discoveries like this one. But what exactly did these digital excavations reveal about how the pyramids were truly built? The strongest evidence to date suggests that the ancient Egyptians used a combined system of water-assisted transport and internal ramps to move and raise the massive limestone blocks. Canals connected the Nile's Ahramat branch, recently mapped in 2024, to the base of the Giza Plateau, allowing boats to deliver stone directly to the site. From there, workers pulled the blocks on greased sledges up steep, rope-supported ramps built within the pyramid's rising structure. These ramps were gradually enclosed as the pyramid grew, concealing the mechanism inside the monument itself. What once seemed supernatural now appears to be a triumph of planning, physics, and precision, a design centuries ahead of its time. But how do we know this vision truly fits the evidence? To test the theory, researchers built scale models replicating the ramp systems, sledges, and moist sand conditions described in ancient depictions. When blocks were dragged across damp sand, friction dropped by half, an effect confirmed by physicists at the University of Amsterdam, published in Physical Review Letters, 2014. Meanwhile, muon scans of the Great Pyramid revealed voids and sloping corridors matching the predicted geometry of internal ramps. In 2025, a scientific report study confirmed one of these, the so-called North Face Corridor, using multimodal imaging radar, ultrasound, and electrical resistance mapping. When the digital models and physical experiments aligned, the result was unmistakable. Dr. Mehdi Tayubi of the Scan Pyramids Project described the moment the data appeared. We were looking at what the builders left behind, their hidden blueprint. But not every scholar agrees with this interpretation. Some archaeologists remain cautious. They argue that the internal passages might have served a ceremonial or structural purpose rather than a construction function. Others question whether water transport could truly operate so efficiently in the desert environment 4,500 years ago. Yet all agree on one point. Earlier interpretations underestimated the Egyptians' technical and organizational skill. For generations, Western explorers framed the pyramids as products of mystery rather than mathematics. That bias erased centuries of indigenous engineering knowledge and reduced an act of genius to a riddle. Modern Egyptology now works to correct that view, collaborating closely with Egyptian researchers and local communities to interpret the evidence with cultural respect. Science can reveal the past, but it can also restore dignity where it was lost. And the deeper meaning of this discovery reaches far beyond archaeology. What these findings reveal goes beyond construction techniques. They show what humans can achieve when knowledge, belief, and cooperation align. The people who hauled those stones were not anonymous laborers. They were engineers, craftsmen, and families who believed they were building eternity itself. For us, the lesson is enduring. Progress isn't only about new tools or modern machines. It's about shared purpose. 
The same principles that built the pyramids, coordination, precision, and persistence, still define how we build our greatest achievements today. When we look at the Great Pyramid now, we're not just seeing stone, we're seeing thought made solid, the product of minds working together in perfect rhythm. And perhaps that's the real secret the pyramids still hold. Not how they were built, but why we continue to build. The mystery began thousands of years ago, how a civilization without modern machines could raise a monument that still dominates the horizon. For centuries, that silence invited myths, but step by step, science has given the builders their voices back. The latest evidence, from the Hatnub ramp to the Ahramat waterway and the hidden corridors revealed by Muon scans, now forms the clearest picture yet. The pyramids rose not by miracle or lost technology, but through intelligence, geometry, and unity of purpose. It's a humbling truth. Human minds, guided by mathematics and belief, can shape the impossible into stone. The same spirit that built the pyramids still drives us today, in our cities, our science, and our search for meaning. If you love seeing how science rewrites ancient history, subscribe and join me for the next discovery.